I'm Helen Beckett, editor of the Business Value Exchange, and here at the industry showcase at HPE Discover. And talking about the connected car with Joachim Klink. Hi Joachim. There's the advent of bi-directional data between the connected car and other objects on the Internet of Things. There's an opportunity for more meaningful customer experience. Could you talk us through some of those opportunities? There is actually two levels of it. Uh, level one is the uh, classical portfolio of an automotive OEM. It's the parts, the services related to the vehicle, it's the connected services, including software updates and improving the car even when it's in the field. Level two would be a, a much more holistic understanding of mobility. So OEMs are about to transform themselves from a car manufacturer to a mobility service provider. Mobility so, service provider? Okay. Yes. So it's not only the car, the car is the center of it, yeah. but imagine you're a traveling salesman or businessman, yeah, you need to look for a restaurant, you need an overnight stay, yeah, you're potentially interested in events in some cities, you need to fill up your, your, your car. So these, are, these, these services are all related to um, mobility and the OAMs are in the center of making a deal between you as the end customer and these other um, players in, in, in the industry. So I can see that's transforming it definitely from the driver experience into the holistic customer experience, 360 degrees. Um, I gather you've teamed up, HP has teamed up with Microsoft as well to further personalize that service. Could you talk us through it? That's actually to provide the right offer to a customer to make this experience happen. You need to know the customer very much in detail. It's not gender, age, and what are these kind of classical stuff. It's really about how you drive your car. It's about where you drive. It's about the status of your car. Yeah. You might drive two cars, your own one, your husband ones, and you might drive them differently. You might search for a parking space 12 minutes every morning. Yeah. So these kind of things. And we take this data, and so we build a platform to, to intake this data and then match your mobility preferences, patterns, and needs with the whole enhanced portfolio of the automotive OEM. And then kind of yeah, bring this together to make you a, a very personalized offer. It's not a standard campaign. Yeah, it's, it's really you and not your husband on the same car or the other way around. Yeah, from what you're saying, that sounds like personalizing a lot of, fine-tuning a lot of very personal data. Yes, yes. I kind of think, given that the car is no longer just a, a chassis and wheels, it's, it's really a computer, there must be a lot of maintaining of patches and updates. How is HP going to take care of that for the customer? Yeah, that's actually managed by our IoT platform, yeah, the, the back end. So everything outside the car is something where we can, from HP, can, can really provide. So the whole... What are the users, what are the cars, what are the services the, the driver has re registered, but also the management of the software development chain or the ecosystem, the partners you need, the parking garages, the hotels. So to bring all this together, the testing of the software when you deploy to the car, when it's in the field. And so that, that's all uh, part of our portfolio of offering. And um, yeah, one thing is, the, I said, the level one, yeah, make that happen in the car. Or level two is this um, more enhanced portfolio, just provide the uh, connection between a parking garage, a hotel chain, and the customer. So I hear that HP, together with its partners, it's taking care of uh, providing a highly personalized service and maintaining and updating it to making the driver into a real, fully rounded customer in the driving seat. Yes, we're, we're enabling this. Yeah, We're enabling the OEMs to make the transformation from, from a car manufacturer to a true mobility service provider in a holistic sense. That's what we want to do. Thanks, Joachim. Thanks, you're welcome.